What's going on guys? So today I have a DIY neutral naked palette that I kind of put together for myself. Um, if you haven't been watching my channel, you know that I did this for the uh, Urban Decay electric palette. I created a DIY um, electric palette uh, for under 25 bucks. I'll make sure I link that for you. Um, check out that video. It has some great colors in there if you like bold colors. But I also decided to do one for a neutral palette. Uh, Coastal Scents sometimes has these sales where their hot pots are only um or well are 50 percent off so usually they're two dollars but they go on sale for one dollar and that's when i decided to go ahead and get um some so this is what it looks like it's obviously in a z uh palette container or whatever and i only got 13 colors these down at the bottom are um concealers and i got these just because i do makeup artistry and i wanted a better range of concealers without um, that I could kind of just put together in a palette so this was the best option for me anyway so I got these top 13 colors and I wanted to originally go like I did my other palette and go online and look at the descriptions of the colors on the Urban Decay website for it, the Naked 2 palette specifically because I really liked that palette um, I wanted to take those um, descriptions and build the palette but when I went online they didn't have the descriptions of the colors so I kind of just had to wing it let's just get started I guess first color is this one right here and it is called golden touch this color I have in my um, on my brow bone as a highlight and I'm just going to swatch it for you so this is golden touch swatched next, the next color I have is sun worshiper this one is also a satin finish there it is right there, the second color. Um, this has like a brownish undertone and it's a lot more gold than the first one. When you, you see them next to each other, you can really see the difference and how so much more gold this second one is. The third color right here is called 18 karat gold and this one is a shimmer. As you can see next to the other two, it um, kind of has more yellow in it. The fourth color in is called Deep Cantaloupe. I really like this color because of the oranginess of it. I actually have this color on my eyelid. I really like the orangeness of it, like I said, and I think it just goes great with my skin tone. There it is right there, that fourth color right there on the end. As you can see, these gold colors are all in the same family range, but they are very, uh, they, they vary in undertones and finishes and things like that the next color is called Cocoma Cafe it's right here Cocoma Cafe um, this color is very close to my skin tone so when I show you this this swatch you, you can barely see it it's right there you can barely see it it's very close to my skin tone the next color I have is called dark chocolate it's right there uh, this color kind of has like a iridescence about it. It has like underlying purple colors. It's very pretty and it's right here. This one in particular reminds me of, I think it's called Dark Heart from in the Naked 3 palette. Um, just because of the shimmers it has in it, the undertone color it has in it. And as you, you know, as you kind of move it around, it, it gives you a different color, a little bit of purple, a little bit of red, but it's definitely a dark brown color and I love that. The next color I have is this one here on the end and it is called Root Beer. Um, one of the main reasons I got it was because of the name. Root Beer is my favorite soda. I love root beer. Anyway, I really like the like copper tone kind of it gives off. I'm gonna show you a swatch. To me, it comes off much lighter than it does in the pan. But I still like the color very much so. It's like a reddish brown color. On to the next row. This is Canon Coral right here. Uh, this color, I just did a makeup look with the color and the video should be up. I'll make sure I link it for you. It's, this is a very pretty um, satiny, shimmery color. It's very copper, much more copper than the previous one, Root Beer, that I just showed you. Um, here's the swatch. I love this color. I just match it with this simple brown and it just has so much depth and it's, I don't know, it's just, I really love the color. I just, I'm really, I'm really feeling this particular color. This color I have here is uh, Chocolatier. This is a brown color. These two colors right here, um, next to each other. Well, the first one is Chocolatier. 
and the second one is the Bros. They look very similar in the pan, but the difference is their undertone. That's what right there is Chocolatier. Um, I love this color. It's so deep and rich and it's just gorgeous. I matched this one with the Canon Curl in my makeup tutorial, um, and you can just re you can really see the red when you blend it out. And next, I'm going to show you Deep Rose. I'm going to put it right next. I'm going to put it right next to Chocolatier so you can really see it. On this side is the Deep Rose. As you can see, the undertones are totally different. This is obviously pulls more red. This pulls like dark. I guess it would be blue would be the undertone for that one, but I'm not exactly sure. They're both matte, but they definitely give you two different feels. Okay, my last three colors. Uh, this first one is called Alpen. Geist? Alpengeist? Alpengeist? It'll be on the screen. I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but I love this color. Ugh, it's a shimmer. It's just gorgeous. It, this one is a, I would say, semi-opaque. Here it is. It's a gorgeous silver color, blue undertone. The next color is called Thunderous. This one is like a greenish gray. The undertone is green, but the main color is gray. But it is semi-opaque. That's the only thing I don't like about this one. But it is still a beautiful color. There it is right there. And once you put it on the eye, and if you're blending it with a black, it pulls black. But if you're blend blending it with gray, it pulls gray. It's like a multi-dimension type color. Either way, I really like this one and that one is thunderous. The last color is just a matte black. Of course, you cannot have a neutral palette if you don't have a matte black. And really, really deep blacks are hard to find, especially in the cheaper range of shadows. I was really excited when I got this one and tried it out and how matte it is. There it is right there. Now it is semi-opaque. It does say that online. As you can see, it is definitely uh, not as opaque as other colors, but I'm gonna build it up a little bit for you and just show you how this thing builds up to just black. So I just put a second coat on and now a third. That is black. That is like Lorac Pro Black. Like, love it. So black right now. <laughs> it's just so black. I love it. This one's called Incognito. I'm not sure if I said that. Um, incognito, matte black just just pack it on just keep packing it on like for a dollar it's worth it to just pack on the color and the only thing I'm, I don't really like about this one in the pan is a lot more drier but obviously it's more dry because number one it's matte number two it's black um, so it's just more dry than the other colors the other ones are very smooth and silky but this one is the only one that's really dry this is my neutral palette on my hand here I am kind of really loving it. I'm digging it. It's a lot different, I think, from other neutral palettes because number one, I kind of geared it, of course, to my skin tone. I know what colors look best on my eyes, look best on my face. Um, of course, the gold and then the copper color because it pulls from my undertones underneath. And then black, smoky eye, everybody can wear that. So um, yeah, so that's my palette. Make sure you check out these Coastal Scent Hot Pots especially when they're on sale but even when they're not they're still just two bucks um and they're great pigmentation great formula great opaqueness um if you you know they have ones that are sheer they have ones that are semi-opaque opaque but usually the semi-opaque ones are opaque or you can build them up to opaque and the color still looks great nice and vibrant um, if you have any questions on the colors just make sure you leave me a comment down below and also give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it doing I have a couple more makeup tutorials well I know I have one up um, and then I have a, a smoky eye tutorial that I use with these colors but of course I'm gonna be using them all the time thanks for watching guys make sure you check the description box below for more information links and all that and i'll catch you in my next one bye everybody's trying to get to me every guy is out for the kill